someone with extensive experience in trying to raise living conditions there is Sivan Yari. She's the founder and CEO of Israel's Innovation Africa. That is a nonprofit organization working to provide Israeli solar and water technologies to rural African villages. It's an effort that has helped provide clean water and light to over 1.8 million people across 10 African countries. Sivan, thanks for coming here. First of all, let me just ask you, in a way, Africa has been almost a little bit of an afterthought in this COVID-19 crisis because it was slower to develop there, kind of unusual when it comes to this situation with Africa. There hasn't been a whole lot of reporting out of it. What is the, how is it coping there now as we are starting to see it spread through the continent? Yes, well, Kalev, thank you for having me. Uh, the situation in Africa is quite challenging today more than before, and more precisely due to the fact that over 400 million people across Africa do not have access to clean water. So the main question that many of us are asking is how these communities that are already vulnerable will be able to protect themselves and try to stop the spread of the virus without having access to clean water, not even to wash their hands. Right. Especially when you think of the medical situation. I mean, here in these con developed countries, we're talking about being short of ventilators uh, and other medical equipment. Here, we're talking about medical centers have to operate even without clean water or energy. Yes, uh, when we think, uh, when we look at the fact that only 34% of all medical centers across Africa have access to energy, we are asking ourselves, how will they be able to operate any medical equipment without having access to energy? Uh, another issue and that really has come to the forefront of here is having the ability to work remotely that we've seen. And again, you think of Africa, uh, you know, discussion about how to work remotely even when the people there do not have either computers, laptops, they don't even actually, have, a lot of them have, of course, Wi-Fi access. That's true. So how do they operate there in those environments? Yes, so for the past 12 years, we've been operating in 10 African countries, and we have our team in Israel, team of engineers, and uh, in normal time, we spend two weeks a month on the ground in the countries where we operate. At this time, we are very proud of our local teams that are on the ground, that are continuing in it using Israeli technology to pump water in villages and in bringing solar energy to medical centers. I'm actually very proud to say that only this quarter we have helped over 50 villages so far and we are on target to bring access to clean water and energy to over 200 villages uh, before the end of the year. Uh, Sivan Yayeri of Innovation <laughs> Africa, certainly your work was vital and important before the this pandemic, but uh, it's difficult to even imagine just how uh, really crucial it is given the current situation across Africa. Thank you for joining us on I-24 News.